This morning on today's Main Street Makeover, we're checking back in with two small businesses that were struggling to make ends meet. Beach's Toy Station in Richmond, Indiana, and Biscuit Love Food Truck in Nashville were both weeks away from closing for good until our expert came in and made some big changes for them. Now, six months later, their futures are looking a lot brighter. Erica has the update. In just six months, Beach's Toy Station has come a long way. People are just mark every day how much more open it is. The shelves are lower. They can see their children in another aisle. Gone are the jam-packed shelves and dingy walls that had come to define this Main Street staple. When I saw this store for the first time, I thought, oh my gosh, it's one big mess. Replaced with bright, engaging displays and a more hands-on experience. We moved the Playmobil to the front, the books to the back, and created stories with the displays. All part of Martin Lindstrom's plan to rescue the 75-year-old business, which had been struggling for years. But change is never easy. Has it been stressful? Yes. Yes. Overwhelming. The change is paying off. Sales are up more than 10%, but getting there has forced the beaches to make some tough decisions. We cut areas that simply we weren't making money in. It was a hard decision to let go of the train department, but we're not downsizing, we're right-sizing it. Which is right now doing a lot of things right. First of all, they have began to engage the community. Secondly, they certainly are telling great stories inside the store. And third, they're buying the right product. When we first met you, you were worried about the future. We have a clear vision of where, where we're taking this, and um, that's exciting. Big things are happening in Nashville, too, where sales for the Biscuit Love food truck are on fire. Success that has shifted Carl and Sarah Worley's dreams of a restaurant into high gear. Six months ago, you guys weren't sure you were going to make it more than a couple of weeks, and now we're sitting on the patio of your future restaurant. <laughs> it's Overwhelming and amazing. It's very humbling to think where we've come in a short amount of time. We're going to carry the white. Biscuit Love Brunch is set to open this fall promising the soul of their food truck on a much larger scale. It's that soul that was missing when we first met the Whirlies. You're going to transform the way you sell stuff. You are not selling food. You're selling an experience. Welcome. After meeting with Barton, they tweaked the menu and made their mobile eatery a fixed destination, adding regular brunches with plenty of local flavor. The best advice Martin gave us was to focus on who we were, you know, we're... 30% above where we were last year at this time, and we're working half as hard as we did. They managed to transport that spirit they had in their minds into their service and into the park. So this is it. This is a dream. spirit they're now determined to share six days a week. For today, Erica Hill, Nashville. <laughs>